explains a lot, though. <laughs> Lancha! Hey guys, I'm Christy and this is Abroad's Cuisine and today we are going to Ireland, so come with! Okay, now we are not really going to go to Ireland, but we're going to celebrate Ireland um, through their food and drink. Uh, today we're going to make some traditional, no, not really traditional, maybe more Americanized, um, Irish soda bread. We're going to have uh, Irish stew, which is their national dish. And then we're going to finish it off with some homemade Irish cream. Uh, so we'll start with the bread. Okay, so for our Irish soda bread, um, it's really, really easy. There's no yeast and you don't have to wait for things to rise. It's very quick and delicious bread. We have flour, raisins, butter, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and buttermilk. We're gonna mix them all together, knead it up, throw it in the oven, done. Oh, oh and sugar. Yeah, there's also sugar. Only a Do or do not. I'm gonna let you do next. What? Uh, ladies last. Ladies last. Well, you know. <laughs> Alright, bring it. You gotta in. go out with a flash. <laughs> 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 bring her Yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't like a... No, okay. I wasn't going crazy. It's a pretty... Oh, I gotta cut out uh, across the get up top of that skirt. Are you a Dean Martin face? Yes. Um, okay, so now we are making our Irish stew, um, which is a traditional dish, the national dish. Um, normally made with mutton, but um, I can't get mutton, can't even get lamb, so I'm using beef cubes. But just pretend. So, we have our beef cubes, and we are just going to brown them in the pot. We're just going to do it in batches. So, while my meat is browning, I'm just going to roughly chop up my veggies. I'm going to cut them really big because I'm using a pressure cooker so we can get this done kind of fast because we're all really hungry. So, um, I'm ready to finish putting my stew together. I browned my beef, I, I did it in a few batches, and uh, so I'm going to pour the rest back in there. The rest of my ingredients are garlic, potatoes, carrots, celery, and onions, and some butter, some beef stock, salt and pepper, um, garlic I said, uh, thyme, and caraway, and a bay leaf. I'm going to put that all in there, and then we're going to seal it up. I forgot that I'm also putting flour in. Six tablespoonful. Okay, so now that everything is in there, um, I have the lid on and secured in the lock position. I have my regulator on and I have the heat on high, so I'm gonna wait for that to come up to the boil and uh, start to build pressure. 
and then we'll set the timer. <coughs> <laughs> I don't really, I don't like any of these. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna make the Irish cream while we wait for our dinner to be ready. So for our homemade Irish cream, we had one and a quarter cups of half and half, one can of sweetened condensed milk. Uh, we had about two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. It's good. Always test your ingredients. You want them to be good. Two teaspoons of coffee powder. A uh, teaspoon each of vanilla and almond extract, and about one and two thirds cups of Irish whiskey to taste. You know, do your favorite. And blend. It's set up like um, like a show, like like a reality show, like Kardashians, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but it's set in like the 1700s. Oh, so it's like these women being like, oh, ugly sister. And there's like, I forget her name. Abby but they're, meets the Kardashians. Yeah, Downton Abbey across with that's the Kardashians. And it's, but every actually famous comedian talks about how that's like the best show. Yeah, it, that's is really, uh, it is funny. We should watch it again. What's it called? Another, Another Period. period. Oh, um, okay, so our pressure cooker is now doing what it does, and um, it's, up to, it's up at about five pounds pressure, so, and uh, the pressure seal here is locked, and our regulator Mama. is, um, it's doing a little shake, and it's, it's wiggling, and it's going to do that. It's, it seems like it's, ah, should I just let it go. So we're going to turn it down to about medium heat. And we're gonna set our timer, boop, 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 and for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna turn it off. My dentist too, says, oh yeah, juicy juice. Juicy juice is great. It's, it's way great. better than pop. Turns out juicy juice has more high fructose corn syrup than any form of pasta. I had 17 fillings by the time I was like 13. What? I have like what? naturally bad teeth, but like she went haywire. I haven't and had that. A bunch of other family said the sure. same thing. Like she like prescribed all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Whenever I go in, they're like, you need all the fillings, but okay, what can you afford right now? Two? Give me that shit. You listen to a podcast on the history of nitrous? One of the more interesting things I've ever Yeah, they give it to people, to women giving birth. Can you imagine awesome. if you were like going in to have your baby and you're like, just hook me up, and you were just nitrous yeah. out the I whole time? I would have eight kids. People yeah. have been doing... Like, would you eat the labia? But you eat the ass, and the ass is kind of a hole, too. So it's like the other Wait, side. Wait, you're not eating the ass. Are you eating the you're not ass eating the hole? asshole. Are you no. Ass? Hey, are you, you eating eat the asshole or the whole ass? The rump. The rump. The rump, rump. rump. Yeah. Right. So, so the opposite it would be the, the labia. The rump of the Or the rump of your bump, vagina. Bump, yeah. Bump, bump, the rump. <laughs> the labia are the rump of your vagina. Wow. You didn't know that. Our timer went off and this is all done. So um, I turned off the heat. Yeah, I turned off the heat and we're gonna wait for the pressure to go down to zero and for this little pressure seal to be not sealed. Um, and I'm going to take off this regulator and that's going to let the steam out a lot faster and uh, cool it off in there and release the pressure so that we can open it safely. And you wanna make sure it's at zero before you open it. All right, well we have our Irish feast here. We have our Irish stew, which I can't wait to eat because I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little rough and this is gonna save my life. 
Um, it's super easy to make, as you can see. I had it ready really fast, and this makes really great leftovers. Just gets better day after day. We have our soda bread. It took five seconds to whip that up. It's delicious and impressive, and all your friends will think you're awesome. And of course, the Irish cream. So hopefully you can make all of this stuff for St. Patrick's Day coming right up and avoid the green beer and all the crowds and the amateur night. And uh, just stay in, stay in with a nice cup of Irish cream and some good friends. Sláinte! So thanks for joining us on our trip to Ireland. Join us next time on Abroad's Cuisine. <laughs>